Good morning, folks. You're going to have to excuse the acute angle. I only have the small mini tripod to film this morning's video, which is going to consist of a whole freaking brisket, not biscuit, brisket. We've got five kilos just shy of here. Cost me 30 quid. It's rolled, but I'm going to cut it open and we're going to have a go at. Let's see if we can come over here and I put a bit of light on the situation. We're going to have a go at smoking this bad boy in the Oklahoma Joe smoker. So the reason I'm dressing this now is because I think we may have to smoke this for a considerable amount of time. I'm talking sort of 10 hours or so. So I want to know exactly what I've got here. So this isn't a video showing you how to do a brisket on an Oklahoma Joe smoker. There's tons of them out there. This is my vlog showing you what happened to my brisket on the Oklahoma Joe. Now this meat was bought from Macro. Uh, they have a butcher in-house and 90% of it has, of, of this meat, piece of meat has already been trimmed. So I don't have to mess about taking uh, pieces of fat out, you know, and that kind of thing. Right, let's get some rub on the situation. We've got a Derbyshire Fine Food sm Smoky Barbecue rub here. I'm gonna apply this bad boy super liberally. Oh yeah. This is a five kilo, or just short of, 4.79 kilograms of brisket. You can see we've got the point and the flat, not sure which, I think that's the point, that was the, fl was the flat, could be wrong. Anyway, it's going on the Oklahoma smoker for 10 hours today. It's already had a rub on it, a local Derbyshire rub. Derbyshire's fine foods. Right, I've come outside, it's approaching dusk and we've started a fire in the firebox of the old Oklahoma Joe. So we're just going to try and regulate the temperature, see if we can't get the smoke chamber where we want it at around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I've got a big exhaust pipe on the old choo there on the stove pipe to uh, help with the draw of air. So we'll just open this door, let these coals get going a little bit first and then we'll see if we can regulate the temperature. This is a setup inside the grill at the minute. I've got this little pipe that I can dip down if I want to to build a little bit more heat in here to prevent it just tracking along the top and out. And then everything else is just as it comes from the uh, from the factory essentially. I'm going to put a little pan down this end because there's a little hole in the end there. So I'll put a little pan there to catch any drips of fat. And just here I might put a couple like an old bread tin full of water to produce a little bit of moisture in the smoke chamber. Okay, for the record, it's half past 10, approaching quarter to 11, and we're about to start smoking this bad boy. Now I'm gonna do this for the night, so because I'm gonna have to stoke the fire through the night, I don't wanna get up and get my hands dirty. I've wrapped, what we've got for six individual bags here of charcoal and what I will do is set an alarm for sort of every hour to two hours and I'll come out here I know it's dark you can't see much and all I have to do is come downstairs put a bag of charcoal on the fire and then hopefully just go back to bed that's the plan uh, I'm going to monitor the temperature as well but it seems to be holding between 220 and 260 degrees Fahrenheit which is perfect so I'm going to go and chuck this meat on the barbecue or the smoker and then I'll come and get the camera and I'll give you a quick shot. I don't really have much lighting and uh, you know, let the cooking commence and I guess we'll be up around 6 o'clock in the morning to uh, inspect how it looks then and then maybe wrap it if that is something that's required. Right, I'm just illuminating this with a torch because it's the best I've got. So there we go, we see the smoker. And the brisket, boys and girls, is on. I'll do a little bit of brisket light painting. Uh, 
it's 4.30 in the morning. I've been up every two hours with this smoker. Six thirty in the AM. Ready for another charcoal drop. And it's light now. So we're sitting at Five two five. Oh, one two five even. The temperature's way too low, but we'll drop that on. I'll leave that open actually for a second. What? What time is it? <laughs> I don't know. Ten Just past have ten. A quick look. Ten past ten. About is ten it? past ten. Right then. So we're approaching 12 hours, but the temperature did drop last night. It dropped considerably. Uh, so it wasn't smoking properly or barbecuing. But damn, she looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is put this probe in uh, one of the thickest parts of the meat, probably like in there. And then we'll start to monitor the internal temp of the meat, which we want to get up to uh, about 200. So 154. We're not far away. There she be. I'm going to see if we can wrap it first in this. Just long enough. No, it's not. It's too short enough. So we've got uh, the whole thing wrapped up in foil now. That's going to go back on until we hit 200 degrees C. Bit Fahrenheit, even. Have they laid anything yet, madam? Well, this one is oh, there's really one sat there having an egg. Yeah. She laying an egg? Yes. Right, let's check on this temperature because I think we're getting close now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goss. We gosh. have the twin disease. We've got hot wings and barbecue here. That's their new names. Now. <laughs> right, so we're up to 195.8 Fahrenheit. Out the smoker is sat, it's quite high actually, near 400, but this end it's 300 Fahrenheit. So I think we're ready to take it out. <coughs> Jam, if you'd like to take the cam. We'll pop this on the firebox for a second. Let's have a look in here then. Oh yeah, get a shot of that. That looks the minerals, doesn't it? That looks the absolute nuts. Let's pull the probe out. Let's check what the temperature says as it goes in and out. Yeah, that's well hot enough then. Now we're going to lift the meat. Oh, she feels still floppy. Which means it's not turned into cardboard, I guess. And then that... I mean, that's good for cooking something else if we want to chuck out anything else in there. But I think what we're going to do with this, we'll just bring it down here, and we'll just pop it in the sun, and just let it rest until everybody arrives. Right, everybody's arrived. We are about to crack open the piece de resistance. Enjoy. Oh,
Yeah. Right, we've got the king of the grill, Richie, sorting the burgers out and everything else. We're going to unwrap. We're going to unwrap the brisket. Unwrap the brisket, mate. We're going to unwrap the brisket. Unwrap the brisket. Unwrap the brisket. You know what? I think the best thing to do is. How many hours have gone into that? 12 hours. You know, 12 hours cooking, hour or so prep. So there we go, we're into it. We're into it, meat of Oh my life. Shit the bed. Look at that bastard. No! Hey, let's get this on the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I need a, a bucket for juices. Oh, you definitely don't want to waste them. I never expected this much juice. After I laughed. <laughs> right, I'm just going to throw this over there. Oh my god. Right, well, we have to cut against the grain. I've no idea which way the grain's going. That's the but way. This looks like the way to me. Oh my. Oh, the smell. Come come down here, look at this. Dave, come around this side. I was going to say, you got to have to Craig straight in. Look at this. Oh, wow. Too fat, Charlie. Chance, I said, come on. He likes me, not you. Chance, I'm going to be my finger. Come on, get your fingers in, Harry. You've got to have a bit of a dibble on it. I'm going to get some cup first, bud. I'll tell you what, it does help you. Yeah. This was the only bit I was worried about trimming off because I thought this was going to be a bit of an end. So I'm going to cut that off. Well, Dave's a bit of an end. And we'll have that later on. Oh, look at the juices, man. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, mate. I'm not even after having to push on this knife. I thought I'd have to like, rag through it. Beautiful. This is a little bit tough here. Yeah, but this, I mean, mm. look at this. One handed. This has also had like two or three hours resting. Look at that. Look at the juices flowing, Jen. Rich, come around and look at this. I can see it from here. You ready? When I cut oh, in, I want some. watch this. Look at this. You'd have thought after 12 hours, wouldn't you, it would be dry as a nun's oh, like, front end. What? Say, Rich is in there. Here, Dave. Nice, mate. Wait, what? Beautiful. Mm. Good Are you okay? This music's so good, isn't it? Well, I've got the end. I like a bit of end. Well, the end's going to be the driest bit. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, buddy. Thirty quid this cost, but it's had the fucking royal treatment. Never mind Meg or fucking Markle having Harry inside her. This fucker. <laughs> I don't want to eat. <laughs> oh, and there's the. Uh, well, you know, I feel like I feel like eating that myself. Get down here, of course. Get in there. Now I'm going in for a taste test for a, a centerpiece like that. Oh, look at this! Stop! No, I mean it. Stop! Move! Move! Come on, go for it. Get a bit. You did it to me. <laughs> hey, like Keith Floyd. Okay. Come, to come to me. Come to me. You need to give it a bottle. Stop! Oh, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> Mostly, this is a dog. Oh <laughs> to be fair, it looks Get fucking horrible. <laughs> Look, Ben. Oh. It's the best thing about it. <laughs> Not burnt anyway, it's caramelised. Are we good? <laughs> oh. Mommy, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Mommy. We food. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Hey, Dave. No. Uh, landlord just give me this uh, for you to look at. I think right. it's something to do with a bit of work at our place. Alright, I can do it. Just pop it open and have a look what it says. No, I can't. <laughs> Not at work today. <laughs> get out at Sunday, that, that, that ball patch will burn. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is it a check? Well, I'm, I'm not sure I've not looked, but. Yeah, start a check, I'm bored. <laughs> Very 
<laughs> oh, Dave. Well, I'll tell him you're not working for him anymore, buddy. No. <laughs> Had a cunt. <laughs>